Hello and welcome. Welcome back to those who have been following the tutorial series. Welcome to those who are new to this tutorial series. My name is Eamon Killian. I've been doing a set of videos on how to get used to using IBM software and their cloud platform. So, so far in this video series, we've been doing an awful lot of point work in terms of uh, a trajectory or a path towards where we're, we needed to be to have the underlying knowledge to do what we're about to do today. So what are we gonna to do today? Well, today, as you can see on the screen, we're gonna use the IBM software platform and we're gonna build our own OS on the cloud. So to do that, and in this case, we're gonna use core OS. Um, so I'm gonna kill two birds with the proverbial one stone. We're gonna install core OS on software because I've had feedback that, well, you know, software doesn't provide core OS. Why doesn't it provide core OS? Well, it does. You just have to install it yourself. Um, so you can have any configuration of core OS that you'd like, as many in the cluster as you want. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that today. Uh, equally, um, I want you to remember that this exact same format is what you can do to install any OS. Hence why this video is called Load Your Own OS or Build Your Own OS on IBM software. So how do you do it? Well, as you can see in the picture here, we're gonna need two servers. We're gonna need a staging server and we're gonna have our actual bare metal server. So we're gonna create an hourly Windows 2008 machine. It could be 2012, it could be whatever you want. Um, the key point is it's gonna have a 20 gig network attached storage hanging off of it. And we're gonna use that storage to create our staging area. So once that machine is there, we're gonna download the live core OS CD onto the NAS. And while we're doing that, we're gonna kick off the build of our small bare metal server. It, it's gonna have CentOS on it, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna be rubbishing that OS and trashing it. So it doesn't really matter what you order it with. We're then gonna configure that bare metal machine to boot from this NAS, from the live CD. Once that's up and running, we're gonna configure the networking, then we're gonna format the disk, uh, we're gonna generate the keys, and we're gonna go through the steps that you would do, these steps here, to actually install Core OS. Once we've installed it, we're gonna then unmount the ISO, and well, hey presto, we're gonna reboot, and you're all done. We're gonna log in and show that we now have a Core OS server on IBM software. My abundant thanks and kudos go out to Rob Garrett of uh, IBM, who sent me the uh, document he's written on how to do this. And I'm gonna put that document up on uh, my website so that people can download that and follow the steps. If they don't wanna follow the video, they can follow it in writing. I did say, remember, remember you can use this exact same approach and technique to install any operating system that you don't see on offer within Software's standard catalog. Um, Software, I think, covers six, seven, maybe eight different uh, operating systems, including versions. But, you know, they can't cover everything. So if you want SUSE, which is a, a, clear, uh, a clear operating system that isn't on that list, uh, or Core OS, or you want to go back to Windows 2000 for whatever reason, you know, you can use this exact same technique rent the bare metal in the cloud and load your own OS. So just worth knowing that if there is an operating system you wanna use that isn't on offer there, well, hey, you can have it. There's not a problem at all. You can have it on the bare metal within the cloud. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's go and create these two servers and the NAS. So continuing on, I've already uh, logged in to the control panel and I've clicked on order, and I've then clicked on order an hourly virtual server. So here we are on configure your cloud hourly virtual server. I said that we would first do the virtual server. We're gonna whack it in London. Um, we're gonna have four gig of RAM. Um, if you want a more in-depth um, introduction to building a NAS server within uh, IBM Software's cloud, uh, on a virtual machine, then please see tutorial video 12. I'm just racing through this because this is only the base level stuff where we're 
building up our um, our actual staging server. Um, you will notice now that you get this error when you choose 2008 R2, 25 gig isn't enough, so it, it requires the 100. The key point here is that when you scroll down, um, you want to have storage add-ons. And you want to make sure that you click for the NAS. And that really is it. I, I mean, that, that is our virtual server that we want. 2 gigahertz core is enough, 4 gig of RAM, Windows 2008. The key point I wanted to make here was add the storage, add the NAS. So once we click continue to order, that will fly off and order us our um, hourly virtual server to be our staging server. So that's fine. We'll give it a name. Let's say staging server at uh, software.com. And we're going to agree and finalize the order. So that's, that's how you do that. I'm going to clear that one because I've already built one. Um, I'm now going to get rid of that and I'm going to go back in and order devices and this time I'm going to order the hourly bare metal server. So same page again. This time go. I'm going to go for this one. It's uh, just over a buck an hour and it's a small London again. Uh, 32 gig. We're going to have CentOS on here. Like I said we're going to trash that so it doesn't really matter. Because why did I choose this one? Well, it comes with a couple of 400 gig SSDs. And that really is that. You know, it's as simple as that. So very, very quickly, we've got our two machines on order. I'm going to call this the uh, Core OS machine. Give that a couple of seconds. There we go. It's London. Give it a name. Core OS on software. Com. and we're going to order that one so that's cool we've got two machines now being built uh, join me again once those are built we will start um, loading up the actual operating system onto the core OS machine